Well, we're going to look at the tropics because they are starting to show signs of being active. In fact, we are monitoring four areas of potential uh, development, all with a low chance of developing. But there are two areas that the National Hurricane Center is investigating a little bit closer. One is off the East Coast and it's going to move northeast. The other one is in the Gulf of Mexico right off the coast of Texas. So this is the low that brought us all of the rain earlier this week. So all of that rainfall came thanks to this area of low pressure. Overall, it's got a low chance of developing, but this is a feature that we're going to be watching not only into the weekend, but even into next week. So what you see is this invest all of the, the modeling takes it south. Well, you know why? That's because of that cold front we've been talking about heading into uh, the weekend, right? So the cold front's going to push it south. Then what's going to happen is high pressure builds over Florida and that could turn it back north. And so what we are seeing is our rain chances are going back up as we head into next week. So Tuesday and Wednesday, we could see a little bit more have rain headed our way thanks to tropical moisture in place. So what you see that front pushes south, then it's going to start to lift back north and kind of stall out. Then there's all of that tropical moisture that comes up thanks to this high pressure setting up. Now there's not an obvious sign of a system really developing, but the signs are there for tropical moisture and more rain to be in the forecast. As far as waves go, that area of low pressure is creating some higher wave action out at our buoy. Six foot waves a period right now every seven seconds. That wind out of the north northwest offshore at 22 miles per hour. We do have a small craft advisory in place. Alexis John Thomas.